is happening everybody and what in the world is this thing that my friends is a 2020 chrysler pacifica minivan now the reason why it's in my driveway is because my work truck came down with a bad case of the hemi tick and it's the warranty department's problem now and because of that they gave me this sweet minivan to drive now i got a level with you when i first heard i was getting a minivan wasn't all that excited but since i've had a little bit of time to play with this thing I've been completely convinced that this is the ultimate ride. So, what I wanted to do is do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a review. That's how excited I am about this car. Now, typically my channel, I don't do reviews. It's mainly the talk show. It's mainly some racing stuff, you know, questions and answers, how-tos, but not really reviews. But, if you're in the market for a minivan, this bad boy just might be the ultimate ride for you. So, no review would be proper unless you started off with the key fob. So, this thing's good looking, nice and beefy, does the normal stuff, unlock, lock, and remote start. Nothing new there, but check this out. If you double bump this button, what? That's right, the whole back of the thing opens up. But that isn't even the half of it. Check this out. You double bump this button, and the side of it opens up. And then you do the same thing to this button, and that other side opens up. You've got to be kidding me. But that's not all. Check it out. If you double bump the button again, it'll beep a few times to make sure you get out of the way so it doesn't eat you, and it closes by itself. And then the other doors will do the same thing. You double bump that one, and double bump that one. And they close by themselves like the whole thing just transformers. Lambos don't even do that. And speaking of which, you want to talk about a party trick. You pull up to the daycare or the club, you give it one of these, go boom, 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 and just blow the whole thing open. What? Dude, all the mommies will come rushing. And when they do, this will be the interior that they'll get to enjoy. So check it out. Leather interior got the orange stitching check this out this is a pretty cool feature so let's say you want to go all celebrity status it's got these things and you just stick them up there like that and it's tent on top of tent they can't see what you're doing in here it's none of their business they'd like to know but they don't need to know but that isn't near all so check this out you put that seat all the way forward and you pull on this tab here and that thing comes all the way up to reveal storage like you would not believe. But it doesn't end there. It goes even better. You pull this strap that says stow in go. What? Like a transformer. You had a seat, but now you don't have a seat. How awesome is that? Let me show you how the back goes down. All right, so check it out. You pull this lever here, the strap here that says one, you pull it, and you just pull it back towards you and it disappears. You do it to the other one, and it disappears, and now it's all flat in the back. You imagine what all you can do back here and what all you can haul back here? With that seat down, the whole thing is flat. It's crazy. It all disappears. You don't have to take anything out, and it's super easy. Now, I had mentioned about that seat having to move it forward so you could do all of that, but let's say you don't want to have to try to find your sweet spot again, that comfy spot that you're in. You don't have to because you got the boss buttons right here. You press that button, and it goes right back to your comfy spot. You got to be kidding me. And for all my gearheads out there, what's powering this beast machine is 287 horsepower worth of Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. Front wheel drive. Oh yeah. All right, we're about to take this thing for a drive. I've been averaging about 19 miles per gallon in mainly city driving. For the most part, it'll knock down about 27 or 28 on the freeway. One other thing is this vehicle is equipped with the automatic start-stop feature. If you're not familiar with that, that's the feature that would 
kill the engine at stoplights or for any extended period of time, uh, it'll stop the engine and then when you press on the gas, it fires it back up. It can be a bit unsettling, but this A hole right here, you press that and that light comes on, that turns your start stop off. So if you wanna turn off start stop, just press that button and it will disable it and it'll act like a normal car. Okay, let's take this thing for a drive. One thing I want to talk about real quickly is the driving modes. It doesn't really have driving modes like sport or street or anything like that. But what it does have is it has the regular park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then L. L is kind of like a sport mode almost. It hangs on to gears for a long time, allows you to do a lot of engine braking. It makes the throttle response pretty aggressive too. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for highway use, but it's kind of fun on some back roads. Just a quick tip, guys. <laughs> One other thing I did want to mention, the AC in this thing is amazing. The rear passengers have their own controls, and then these controls up here. You've also got other controls here in the climate screen. So that's pretty cool as well. Heated seats, heated wheel. Let's see if I can get that thing to focus. So front passenger seats have heated seats. Not too shabby, pretty fancy if you ask me. All right, guys, just kind of taking it for a spin. One thing I like about this thing is that it is nice and quiet. The throttle response is pretty good. Actually, it's surprisingly good, especially considering the type of vehicle it is. But it's very smooth and it's very calming to drive, which is, I guess, not to be surprisingly expected. I mean, some of the stuff that I drive is typically pretty rowdy. So for me, this is kind of nice, kind of relaxing. And with these captain's chairs, very comfortable. Speaking of those captain's chairs, I want to show you all something real quick. This stuff, these things are uh, adjustable. So you can, if depending on how you like your arm, you can put it pretty much anywhere. I thought that was kind of fun. I mean, it's not necessarily a barn burner in terms of performance, but if you put your foot down, it'll eventually get there. I'll give you guys a taste of what that L mode will do. To get there, you can't do it while you're cruising down the road, but you press down on the shifter and move it over. That's how it knows you're serious about L mode. bad getaway acceleration so with normal acceleration in L mode see how it's carrying those gears a little bit longer really feel it go through the RPM range in this mode sounds a little bit different too I like it I'm not really sure what it runs 0 to 60 at least not in a book but this will give you an idea of how it does You guys will have to timestamp that, but it's a minivan. What do you expect? I'm just surprised that it chirped the tires at all. <laughs> Adds a little bit to the fun factor of this thing. Okay, guys, this is just cruising down the highway, going about 65 miles an hour. Very quiet, very nice in here. The engine is not buzzy at all. The steering feels good. It's not over boosted. Very comfortable could definitely see taking this thing on long trips, no doubt about it. One other thing I want to say about this van is that it handles extremely well, much better than you would expect a minivan to handle. So I'll give you an example of that. Very sure-footed feel of this vehicle. Definitely inspires confidence. Very fun. <laughs> far more confidence inspiring than you would ever imagine a minivan to be so there you have it guys the 2020 chrysler pacifica minivan 
far more capable than I thought it was going to be. Far more fun than I thought it was going to be. And I got to tell you, if you're looking for a minivan, don't forget about this one. I'm telling you, I've had more fun with this thing than anybody should be allowed to have in a minivan. Can't say enough good things about it. So check one out when you get the time. And that is going to be a wrap on this one. Y'all have a great one. Adios.